Another Group 1 here, the third event in the program, is the Breeders' Crown Series final, uh, sponsored by Ora Baron Park for the two-year-old Trotting Colts and Geldings. Not sure at all here again. Is that a bid's got relatively good early toe? You don't often let these young trotters go at the start unless you have to. Dreamy's got good early speed. Powder Keg, good early speed. Andover, Dun uh, Andover Sun, good early speed. Ultimate Stride balances up and rolls forward. So it's an intriguing sort of a little situation here. I'm not 100% sure how it will play out, though I'm relying on Zach Phillips' uh, Arguably, well, probably the best young driver that we've seen in uh, some years in Victoria, along with Darby McGuigan, to, to be able to hold up and keep the front with Is That A Bid, who's gone so sensationally well in his last two starts. So I've got him on top. Ultimate Stride will come attacking. Now, there's a chance that Zach will hand up, but based on how well Is That A Bid went in the Redwood Classic, I think that they'll say, no, look, we're just going to test ourselves here. We're going to try and lead all the way and make life hard for the favourite Ultimate Stride who will be positioned. I reckon outside the leader. I'm Daddy Warbucks. Gets a beautiful draw to follow through and get into that gun position, trailing the speed in transit. And Powder Kick, I think, will roll forward and get into a handy spot too. The one I'm a little bit worried about is Andover Sun. I think it's going to have to probably go back from the wide draw. I just think it's too dangerous to try and rush forward if things don't work out at the start for him. And the rest of them, well, they're in a fair bit of pain, aren't they? When you look back in the field, it's going to be the less qualified runners who are going to be in the worst positions. Hopefully for those wanting a real contest here, is that a bid can hold up from the pole marking draw and the option is to park the favourite ultimate stride in transit.